this doesn't happen to me often these days, but when I saw the trailer for this game for the first time, I instantly knew I wanted to play it. And that was a very, very, very good sign. So this is the preview build of the game. It's called Pacific Drive, and it's made by, well, published by Kappa Interactive. Thank you for the early access. It's coming out on PS5 and PC. And I just clicked off the game by accident. Whoops. Um, on the 22nd of February, uh, made by Ironwood Studios. And uh, yeah, let's jump into it. Very excited to see what this game's about. As you see, it's about crafting, it's hiking, there's a car. And I'm, yeah, I'm just intrigued to see how this game's gonna play out. Very intrigued. Let's give it a go. I'm traveling. I believe this might be the beginning of the game. I'm pretty sure it is. The first sort of couple of hours, maybe. I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. <laughs> In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumoured of its utopia creation spread, so did stories about the overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off the section of the Peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. We're not going to go in there, are we? Because that just sounds like the worst idea imaginable. What happened inside was never disclosed. Until today! Yeah, something about the trailer just... It just... I don't know. I don't know if anyone's watching this and felt the same. Let me know. <laughs> is this our car? The Olympic Palencia, 1998. So the vibes I'm getting right now, this is a game I love a lot. It's called Fire... Firewatch? Is it Firewatch? It's called Firewatch. But I'm getting that, oh, that vibe off it instantly, which is definitely not a bad thing. Oh, hello. That was a bit weird. <laughs> what happened there? I'll turn the lights on, got the wipers, got lights, okay. Steer? Ooh, do I have hands? I do not have hands, okay. Where are we going? What side are we driving on as well? <laughs> That's a very good question. Let's drive on the UK side. It feels pretty calm at the moment. Completely under control. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, why is it already getting dark? Oh, one sec. The wipers. Wipers. Turn the wipers on. There we go. Oh! And maybe turn my lights on as well. Toggle wipers. I can make them go quicker. Yeah! I can see clearly now. The rain has gone. Um, I do have the streamer mode on. For music. So it might be a little bit different for you. If you uh, aren't playing on stream in this game. Or do videos like myself. How quick can they go? I'll turn them off. I'm not going too quick. <laughs> what if this game's going to get scary very quickly? It was such a pleasant day like a second ago. Why is the wiper stop? Don't stop! There we go. You see where I'm going. <laughs> I'm expecting like a massive crash any second. Please be nice. Toggle headlights. Definitely need my headlights on. Why is it still so dark though? These headlights need to clean or something. It's so dark. Honestly, I can't see what's in front of me. Is it still raining? I think the rain might have stopped. What the hell is that?
What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Is it the radio? What the hell? I am getting goosebumps already. What the? Up here, I guess? What was that? What? I, 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 I can't play scary games. I don't even know if this game's even a scary game or not. Oh, gee. Why? Why? Oh, that's not normal. Okay. Are we like some kind of like repulsor or something? What are we doing? So this area on the right must be the exclusion zone, right? Or are we already in the exclusion zone? I feel like we shouldn't be here right now. There's no way we should be here. Um, uh, what are we doing? We are so stupid. Um, I have no power. What the hell? Ah! Oh, that can't be good. That... Great. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, no. That can't be good. Are we still going to be in the car? Uh, my car is now in pieces. What the hell is going on? Ah. I'm now in the ex exclusion zone. Oh, great. I mean, I did have transport until you ripped my car into multiple parts. Great. Fantastic. So we're trying to look for new transport, basically. Because the vehicle I saw in the trailer was not like a little van thing. That was like a red van, wasn't it? I thought, what do you call it in the US? Or like a, I don't know. <laughs> basically, it wasn't a vehicle. this ah one thing i would say that's a slightly negative so far for the, for the game is a lot of the actions i'm doing the steering got no hands kicking something i've got no legs can i even see my legs yeah i feel like i'm a floating camera my only negative so far oh I'm here. Who is talking to me? Acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Who is the is the car talking to me? I'll put the wheels back on. That's right. I should probably pay attention, shouldn't I? Right, wheels. That that works. <laughs> I should probably should pay attention. Right, pick it up. Pull it on the car. Which do I, do I have a torch? By the way. Ah, there we go. Yay! Again? Oh, you just needed a wheel, really? Okay, sweet. We have a car! And it starts? Gee. Right, let's turn the lights on. Put it in drive. Do you read me? I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Oh, uh, steering's not that great. 
Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Yeah, steering is very bad. Hello? Hello? Whoa! And they, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Ah. But if they're stranded, could they, I mean, are they from outside? They're a preacher. Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. The closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. I don't feel like I'm going the right way here. Drive east to find the shelter. East is back, isn't it? I'm going the wrong way to go east. Should I just keep going this way anyway? The vehicle does not feel feel good. Um, the handling, it's, it randomly just starts steering itself. Whether that's because I'm going the wrong way. Oh. Oh, great. Got to be... I need to siphon some fuel. Oh, from that vehicle. Okay, sure. Yeah, this car is not... Not feeling great. <laughs> uh, drive east. Check your trunk. Oh, for a fuel can. Sorry, we should be paying attention to that. A little bit of dialogue in the top right. Do we... Oh, we do. That's interesting. Why is it, like, stuck there? Ew! Siphoned fuel from the broken down car. Well, this one. Really? Don't think that's gonna... gonna suffice. Um, I mean, that is... Oh, one sec. It, it, it will work, really? Alright, sure. Was it like a, a fuel meter on the vehicle? I have to double check. Yeah, you see, the car does not look particularly um, compliant, does it? Needs some uh, a lot of work. All right, fill it up. Oh, sorry, it's moving. Why are you moving? I should put it in park. <laughs> no, I shouldn't move. <laughs> Just like moving randomly. Right, I think we're good. Let's go back in and let's get to it. Uh, go. Go, go, go. Oh, engine. Uh. Go! Uh. I didn't mean to do that. Do. Definitely panicked. I forgot I need to turn the car on. There it is again, that flip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? No kidding. Could it be? A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants again. This isn't me steering it, by the way. It's the vehicle. What we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy cripes! No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the breacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. Then back, baby. Well, they seem excited by my arrival. And yes, the car, in inverted commas, is drivable. Uh, oh, no. Good. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. Find that shelter. Go on and let yourself in. Jesus. Now, I'll be ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. Can you flip? Can I flip over? Oh, this isn't good. Can I flip it over? Please flip over. Oh, kick it over. Get in. Go. Uh, I guess by that red effect around my screen, I got hit pretty badly there. Am I allowed through here? 
This looks like a shelter. Right? Right? <laughs> this is definitely something. Get inside, get inside, get inside. Should I turn the fuel off? I should, I should, yeah. I'm panicking. Stop panicking. See, you do not want to trust me in a situation like this. <laughs> right, close the door. Get the power back on. We can do that. Ah, is that a backpack? Ooh. Who is there? Oh, the shop. Oh, God, it's been breached. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I. Ow! Oh. My head. <laughs> First aid, yes. Send a breacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car, and, well, uh... Oh. Get off the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super official zone business. Protocol, uh demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I personally written that's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Oh, tell her that voice goes like a nail gun to the skull. So, <sighs> another breacher, huh? <sighs> How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun. Unless you one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait. I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Ugh. <sighs> Unfortunately, the barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. I do have very soft hands. Yeah, this car needs some serious help. So, what are we looking for? Certain components and equipment that will be installed on your car have abilities that need to be activated. Okay. Right, so that's been added to my to-do list. I press Y. Gather items from, from the abandoned car behind the garage from your checklist. Search the abandoned car's trunk. Okay, so what do we need? It's like certain materials. I don't quite know what that is. Um, I guess we'll just see what's in the trunk. What we got? Apparently, okay, damn it. It's time to pry it open. Do we have any tools here? We do. A pry bar and some duct tape. Lovely. So that's one of the to do's done. Nice. And you see, it's got maybe a tiny bit of fuel in there, maybe. A tiny bit. Should we, should we siphon it out anyway? Mind if I do? Fuel, do? fuel does look pretty important. And then can I equip the pry bar? Right, let's open it up. What do we get for that? Plastic, lovely, and a road flare. So it's looking for screws, and I guess that's glass. Um, right, search the dumpster. Okay, will do. A friendly dumpster. Whoa! Um, okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. Sure. I'm guessing is it damaged? Is it alright? Scrap. Um, go items from... Is there any more items on this vehicle? Can I steal the door? <laughs> Summer tyres. Uh, sure. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Is that scrap... Whoa, hello. It's got some glass. Got some scrap metal. Ah, so we use this crazy saw. I can basically like rip it apart. 
Right, that is all the materials we need. I'm gonna gather a few more before we continue. Use this as well, yep. I like how we now have a HUD with that headset on. That'll definitely help us out a little bit. Give me all the bits I need. Thank you. Not sure what I was expecting from this game, but I, I guess something like this. <laughs> can we scrap the tire? No one's using that anymore. No, we can't. Oh, we can. Ooh. A rubber. Again, that is not a, <laughs> that is not a summer tire you want to be using anytime soon. Right, craft a crude door in the shop. Okay, let's do it. Obviously, the old door, I guess we can uh, get rid of it. Press RB on the workbench. I want to build a door. There we go. A to craft it. Nice. And install the door here. I now have a door. Right, this, this one needs to be back on then. <laughs> Oops. Put that back on. Nice. Good job. Repair the car body. Get the repair buddy foam. Um, the, the repair buddy from the locker. Okay, where is the locker? Here. Right, we have repair buddy. Let's try and improve the structure. Do I just go up to impress the right trigger? Oh. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Did that do much? I guess so. Missing a whole panel there. I need a rear bumper. <laughs> I guess it seems to help. I don't know. Ooh. It's looking good now. What about... What's that? That was... Gus, the gas, gas cup. Can, we, can, I, can I repair that? No, I can't. Repair the summer tires. Don't know how that works, but sure. Yeah, so the durability definitely seems to be going up. Obviously, this is the first. It, uh, the first sort of, um, I guess, volume one of this car. Um, hopefully, we're going to be doing a lot more to it. Um, what's up with this? Is that completely gone, this steel panel? Can I repair that? I can. Wow. Look at me go. I mean, the car already looks so much better. else I can do? There's no light there, so I guess that's why the lighting wasn't great. <laughs> oh, do we have a flat tire? What? I think we had a flat tire. That's why I was struggling. So the ceiling kit. Ah. So well, that was the tire that kept coming off, but the other side also had a flat, and that's why it just wouldn't go straight. Okay. Repair the flat tire with the spare tire found in the locker. I did have that. Yep, yeah, there we go. Do, do, do. Looks like we can make it. Let's do another one, actually. I can imagine having multiple seating kits would be quite useful. And then use it. Did it work? Yay! Sweet. Right, so there's an issue with this. Get the mechanic kit from the toolbox. Oh, there we go. It randomly arrived. Equipped. Right, so you want me to fix this tire? Okay. Outfit the car. Ooh. Can I get this to lift up? I guess probably not. Install cardboard boxes inside the... What? Oh, there you go. Works eventually. I've got cardboard boxes. I'm guessing we can then use that to store stuff in, maybe. 
crafting mats. Oh, nice. So I can do crafting in my own car. Nice. Um, yeah, look. There's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your arc car. Device. Wherever it'll fit. Ooh. Ooh. What have we got? In the passenger seat? I guess that works. Is that a map? What? This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Right, so we're going to grab some blueprints from over here. For gear? Right. Ooh. What did we get? What was that? Pick up the impact hammer blueprint as well. Ooh. What's this? Oh, fuel! Epic fuel! Let's fuel up, baby. Unlimited gas. We're about to go on quite the adventure, aren't we? Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh boy, it's gonna get scary. I sign the car with the charging station in the what? I will line the car. Okay. If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. Well, I think we did it. Connected. All right. Select the destination. Is the map on the wall? I had to slightly align the car, but I feel like we're in a good shape now. Is it definitely charged? I think it's charged now. So I just couldn't drive the car, which is a bit weird. Anyway, uh, route planner. This is the zone. So where are we going? Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Okay. Um, I'm guessing that's where I need to go. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. She's a little bit rude, isn't she? I won't lie. Any more med kits? I think we're good. Right, I'm guessing the car will now start. I couldn't get in earlier. And for some reason, I still can't get in. Oh no. <laughs> um, what can I get in for? Oh, okay, sure. Caution. Okay, All right, let's start the car up. It's stable at the moment. We're in drive. Let's go. She said turn left, right? <laughs> Already lost. And there's the charge. I guess that's hit capacity right now. Man, this car looks very different <laughs> than the car I just drove a second ago. We still got four quick slots as well. What that does, I don't know. Oh, we're going for a drive. I'm sure it will be fine. Is that going to take... Oh, is, it, is it safe? Is it stable? Your car is your shield. Is it still... Still safe? Yeah, is it okay, stable? Newbie. I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. Hmm. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. 
Is that the that device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Right, let's have a look. This looks like plasma to me, but I might be wrong. Looks like it's ripe for the exactly picking. Exactly what we need. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An ah. impact hammer will do the trick. Impact hammer. There you go. View the blueprint. Add it to my list. So I need some scrap. I need some gas cylinder as well. Find those materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again. So go on and take what you need. So I need some homes, outposts, facilities. They've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in '87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. Just be careful. So I believe we need scrap metal Look to then you. make Out gears. The zone, all on your own. I know I'm they doing well. Grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. Huh. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. So we need a... Got the scrap. We need a gas cylinder. Gas cylinder. Where the hell would I find a gas cylinder? That's, I'm hoping it'll be nearby, but... Who knows? Do we even... Do we even have a light? Oh. What's this? A bulb? That'd be useful. There's a scrap metal. Thank you. Don't know why I'm still holding that bulb, but sure. Oh, one sec. Is that a gas? Yes. That is exactly what we need. That should make us an impact hammer. What I can do is put the bulb in my car. <laughs> right. Craftman. Impact hammer. Make it. Do it. Give it to me. Right, now we need plasma. Hey, uh, uh, driver. I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. How can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind, until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. Oh, good. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh, gosh. This one time, it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now, I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Understand. <laughs> right, we are up to three plasmas. What's it? What's in here? Before I smash it to bits. Right, I'm gonna quickly look. I'm sure the game's probably told me already, but I need to know if there's a torch, because it's very dark. No, I can't seem to find... Hmm, annoying. Consume electronics. How's this vehicle? Is it worth, um... Nicking any parts from? <laughs> Maybe scrapping it? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure the game's probably told me about... A stupid torch and I haven't I missed the notification probably
Oh, armored panel. Can I can I nick that? Guessing probably not. I have to rip it apart. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I'm full, damn it. Maybe I can just hold it for a second and then put it in the car. One second. I'll put this in the boot of my car. There we go. Yeah, my infantry is definitely looking a little bit full at the moment, but. What can you do? Oh, my infantry is completely full now. Where can I find more of this plasma? This building could be interesting. The radiation warnings are interesting indeed. Oh boy. That doesn't look good, does it? I'm just trying to hurry this up a little bit. Come on, two more. Please let me in. Please. Maybe use the uh, hammer of doom. Impact hammer. No. Where the hell can I get this plasma from then? Oh my god, what the hell? Where did these guys come from? What the hell? Uh, that was terrifying. Can I get some plasma from here, maybe? Come on, just work now. It's a move. Move, move, move. Can I do anything with these? Please have what I need. No. Nope. Like I'm taking too long here. Maybe I need to move on. Move to the next area. Maybe. Right. Uh, I am full up. Completely full. So maybe put my repair buddy in my car. Put some scrap metal in my car. Keep the fuel in my car. That, makes, that does make a lot of sense, actually. I'll give myself a little bit of space. Right, let's move to the next area. Hope I don't collect all the materials and replace parts. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next sort of area, I guess. How about I regret this? It's found it's still stable, so I think we're okay. Don't know what those. Oh, man, I'm. Yeah, I'm all over the place right now. <laughs> I don't know what those things were over there. There's a pit out of nowhere. Have I got a flat again. How the hell have I got a flat? How? Well, I'm just going to install the spare tire. I think. You go there. And put the new... Oh, it's rolling. New tire. There we go. Put that in the back. I might be able to repair it later on, maybe. Right, let's get going again. I don't want to rip the door off. Thank you very much. Are we good now? I think we're okay. Alright, to the next destination. Let's go. Let's go and find some more plasma. I don't know if I needed to move on there, but... Oh, one sec. Yeah, this makes my life a little bit easier. Here's the plasma I was looking for. Okay, there we go. Let's get out. Didn't put it in park or anything because I'm stupid. Whoa! That's not very nice. Oh, come on, hurry up! Ooh, what happened there? Jeez. Right, go, go, go. Run over by my car. That will happen, Scott. Right, one more we need.
Right, pull it in park. You stay here, I'll be two seconds. Whoa. Be nice, be nice, be nice. Ow, ow, ow. We got what we needed. Looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. Antenna, okay. That little circle over there. Sure, let's do it. Let's go. What's those parts over there? Oh, don't worry, ignore it. I tend to try and get some more plasma, but I'm guessing it's fairly readily available. I hope. There's some more there on the left, look. Can I get some more? Or should I move on? I'll move on. What the hell is that? That can't be good. Reverse, reverse, reverse. What the hell is that? Is that like scanning for... Scanning for us, I guess? It's just going backwards and forth. Back and forth. I'm, I'm really flustered in this game, I won't lie. Mm hmm. I think we have to be directly below it. So I think we're okay. Look at that plasma. Gee! Ow. Did it have to hit my car? <laughs> Hope it's just giving me a charge. <laughs> That's true. Oh, hello. Let's go to the left. Ignore him. This is terrifying. <laughs> this is terrifying. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm sure when I'm on edge, my concentration goes out the window. I am not the sort of person to stay cool in it anyway. But I just can't do it. I cannot do it. Alright, so we need to take the. Not this right. Is this the right way? through here. Through here and take the next right. Wherever that is. I think it's the right way. Yeah, I think so. We got a flag in, have we? No, seems okay. Right, we are roughly, I think it's up there, is it? Can I drive around? Do 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 do. I guess we got here, right? Right, you stay there. Turn the car off. I'll be back in a second. Broadcast transmitter. What does this do? I got one. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. Oh, lovely. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. Alright, we go back to where we came. How much time we got left? Maybe we're just looking for a chance now. This car feels like something from, um... What's the film called? I forgot the film. 
when I go to the future. <laughs> I've literally just forgot the, the film. I'm so over, I'm so flustered. I'm sorry if this video is bad. My brain is just all over the place. So I guess we can go to any of these charge locations. So I might as well go to the one that's just on my right, I think. Uh, I'm not going the wrong way. Let's go back this way. Down here. I think that's what we're looking for. Very interesting game, that's for sure. Don't we really want to go in there, but I think this is what we're looking for. Is this what you want? Stable anchor? Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's Limtech through and through. Ooh. Don't be scared. Don't drop it, you absolute pleb. Hold on to it for two seconds. <laughs> right, pull it there, I guess. Don't know what that did. Return to the auto shop. Collect anchors until... Okay, so we need to get some more. Oh, wow. We're not even done yet. That was only 0.3. Oh. Why? There's a big one behind us. Gee, I thought we was done. I thought you was done. What go back? Is it in drive or not? It was not in drive. There's a fair amount to learn, of course, at first, but it's one of those games that once you sort of understand how everything works and what you need to craft and luck it'll be fine. So this will be another 0.3, will it? Some more plasma over there if I want it as well. But the game is being quite nice to me at the moment. I think it might get more tense later on. We are desperately trying to get back and they're attacking you constantly. Probably, I don't know. Look at what is what just happened there? What? The art device is charged and ready. Oh. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage, but it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. Okay. Might as well while I'm here. Grab some of this. Before we go. Plasma galore. We're going inside as well. Can I bust that? Yes, I can. Computer. What happened to that? <laughs> right. Got duct tape, loads of stuff, plastic, rubber. Some canisters. I feel like we've got a fair amount of resources. Sorry, radio. Yeah, some areas are like really dark. Whew. Right. I guess we're ready. So we've got a couple of gateways. Drive. Oh. You see that glowing pillar into the sky? Drive into it. 
Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Noted. Ooh. By the way, my, my my driving should be so much better. Look at these guys. What are those guys? Whoa! What has happened? Follow the lights. Follow the lights. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm trying to get into it. Honestly, I'm just trying to go straight. Let's go. Let's go. Whee! I did it! <laughs> oh, that was terrifying. That was terrifying. It's like the, the, the tire at the back's oh, well, well. struggling again. Great. Oh, alive. For certain if the zone didn't get you, that gateway would. Hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, they've been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place, mess up my equipment, and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get with this. We clear? We are clear. Thank you for the help. Scanning antenna. I would love to make this. I don't know what it does. <laughs> Let's see what it does. Ooh. Ooh. What did I get? Scanning antenna kit. Inventory's full. Uh, can I just hold it then? Extend your range in the zone. You don't want me to go back into the zone already, do you? Install the antenna on the roof. Ah. Okay. Ah, oh, on the roof there. Ah. Can we get on the roof? Is it easy to get up there? Put in the roof of the car. Ah, there we go. Yep, that makes sense. So then we can adventure even further, potentially. Potentially. Goodbye, garbage. Hello, brand new antenna. Yes. Oh, this place looks pretty advanced. Antenna signals I did good. Loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Car maintenance. Install a handbrake. Do I not even have a handbrake? That probably makes a lot of sense, actually. What we got here? A crude bumper. A handbrake. Okay, I'll take that. In the engine bay. Are we going to put the engine bay? What? One second. <gasps> Make sure well, to empty your truck well, well. Out. You'll need the space. I can change the engine as well. Oh! Oh! Search a dumpster for something to help you unload the trunk. Oh, okay. What is it? What? What has happened? <laughs> Scrap metal. I guess cheers for that. Cargo trunk. Okay. So I can put all my stuff in there? And we're patched. Everything's in working shape, more or less. I've hooked up the antenna to the route platter. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. All right, let's try and repair some of the car. Did take a few beatings. Whoops. Headlights in good condition. I don't even have. Oh, I've just, I just run out. I'll have to try and make some more, actually. All right, what can we make? Repair putty? Yep. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, me mechanical kit as well. Mechanic kit? Yep. Yeah. And light replacement kit. Sure. I can make a whole combustion engine. Well, I'll be damned. Let's try to make sure the uh, car's in slightly better nick, though. 
So I'm going to make a headlight. Because I need one. Right. A new light. Ooh. I prefer that to that one. Interesting. Charge the battery. I thought I did that already, but um, let's give it another go. Beautiful. Uh, we need some more repair putty. Oh, repair putty does actually fix wheels as well. Okay. And that is useful stuff. Anything else we can fix? Car's at 94%. Steel door needs some bit of work. Uh, this tire, okay. A little bit damaged, not much. Oh, this crude panel. So what do I need? There's obviously a, a missing panel here. What is this? Just a, just a crude panel. So just, if we make a crude panel, we just put that on. Crude door, crude panel. Let's go for that. Let's see if that works. Does it just slot on? Nice. Right, I can make a new bumper as well. There we go. Ooh, looking good. I'm guessing we can... What if, what this, would that count as a door? The boot, I, I guess. Also, there's a missing panel, actually, as well. Uh, maybe we can do the missing panel first. Or not. I need some more plastic. Ugh. I can't find plastic in this world. I mean, madness. Ready to make this uh -huh. verification a one-and-done thing? I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Which would make my life easier, so... Your call. Uh, so do you want me to where do you want me to go do you want me to go to here is that right I don't know what they, where they want me to go select destination toggle here we go that doesn't really help does it where do you want me to go here I guess well, that looks fairly safe this looks dodgy that is, that is where I need to go, yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. Alright. The front door has been opened. Uh, let's quickly charge the battery as well. Seems to keep um, dropping. Doesn't matter how many times you uh, charge it, it just runs out. <laughs> Great. Right, are we heading out? I sure hope so. We go left, don't we? Here we go. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> and we did it. Oh boy. What are we doing? We are an idiot. So six hours of travel. Is that okay? Can I do that? I don't go to there, really. But how do I get there? It, don't, it won't let me go to there. Hmm. Stable anchor. Why can't I go straight there? Damn it annoying so I guess I then need to travel again I guess so back rows remote damp okay gathering craft right, how do I reach my destination aha uh -huh. so let's go we need to do a big loop here interesting Wish me luck. 
And of course it's raining. Wipers, please. Oh, you got my handbrake now. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's for the um, corner escape, isn't it? What is that? Oh, you know what my favorite remnant was? The record player. You remember Francis? You, you play records normally, but then every now and then you hear weird voices. Like that one time it was oh, like boy. fifth grade lunch late. <sighs> this again. Hey, you know, the sooner I get this out of my system, mm -hmm. the sooner you can have some peace and quiet. <sighs> Fine. Hey, had a girl? Oh, boy. Hey, driver, listen. Of all the legends, of all the stories that have spawned in the zone, <laughs> trust me, there are so many. Remnants? One of the best. I'll start from the beginning. <clears throat> in 1964, strange objects began appearing throughout the zone. They were, uh, shabby, cast-off things that were imbued with strange properties. Uh, a broken microwave that froze food instead of warming it. A rusty can of paint that what? produced every color in existence. Always so out of place that people were irresistibly drawn to them. Yeah, you know, like a mysterious car in the forest, right? Go. Is there a road here or not? <coughs> if there's a road, I'm not on it, apparently. Well, I'm not sure if that's the wind doing that, but again, the car is very difficult to control. Another income, incoming transmission. So what is it? mentioned that the remnants bind themselves to people, like the cars done with you, and how that led to obsession. These obsessions only started innocently. How is that a interest in model train sets or collecting old road signs. The objects themselves would exhibit anomalous properties, but what uh... did the zone, right? That in itself wasn't cause for alarm. But these fixations would only grow worse until its victims could think of nothing else but the remnant. And they always ended with spiraling into madness and disappearing in a mad chase after something. Sorry, driver, it doesn't sound fun, but... Better to know what you're up against. Could the Remnant's victims still be out there somewhere? I mean, we never heard from them again, but it doesn't mean they all died, right? If the madness didn't kill them, then the zone did. <laughs> anyway, it's been 20 years since the last Remnant sighting. We thought they were long gone. Until you found the car. Until I found the car. Well, I do apologize. Should we quit looking at this building on the, the right? Uh, maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe. Yeah, that might be a bad idea. Um, might be okay, actually. One sec. Quick. Get out. It's a little bit weird around here, won't I? Storage box. Ooh. A whole panel. Do I want a whole panel? I'll put it in my little, uh, in the back of my car. You never know when I might need it. There you go. <laughs> Are we going there or is it locked? I'm trying to remain a bit more cool on this run. I know things can go wrong. It's fine. That looks firmly close to me. I know what I'm not wanted. Jeez. I'm not going to pretend I know what's going on right now. Because I've got absolutely no idea. I'm just going to follow this path and hope for the best. What the hell are these things? Uh. Moving, I guess. Do I need that that energy to make the jump again, though? What the hell was that? Something got me. Jesus, when did you grab me? Like a massive magnet on me. Huh. Must admit, I didn't spot you. I apologize. 
You feel offended by that? Is my car okay? It seems like it's okay. Woo. This game gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Definitely gives me the heebie-jeebies. those things even are. How are we doing on the um, health front? I think we're doing okay. And then we're going to be on the bridge. And we'll be making pretty good progress here. <laughs> oh my! Oh, that probably damaged the car a little bit. Yeah, I saw the wheels splash. Uh, what I do want to look, have a quick look at is can we improve the FOV on the car? Yeah, let's do that because I feel like it's a little bit close. Whoa. Go, go, go. Here we have a slight. Do we, got, we got a flat again. No. Right, do I have to use the repair party, right? Was it more of a ceiling job? It's more of a ceiling job, isn't it? I think we do have some ceiling available. Uh, do. Equip it. Yes. Good job, Scott. Go, go, go. That's why it's good to be prepared. For some reason, the tyres in this game are ridiculously weak. <laughs> I don't know. On the road again. We picked up a couple of resources here and there, but nothing too big. There's a couple of houses coming up. We could stop there. I wonder if using the handbrake is um, a massive negative on the car. Probably is actually, isn't it? Ooh. What was that? Ooh. On the road again. Oh, boy. Yes, we can count three houses up here, or three buildings at least. Does it look safe to explore, though? Um, can I go with a big fat no on that? Oh, what's that mean? Just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Should I throw this building on the right? Was that a stupid, stupid idea? Probably is. Oh well. Apparently I'm stupid. Let's see, is that bad? Are we going to follow? We're okay. Stay there. Probably we should turn the car off, but need to leave in a hurry. I don't want to turn it off. I think that's it. All that will do for me. <laughs> uh, go, get in. Uh, what are you doing? I want to get inside. I want to drive the thing. Okay, let's open up all the doors. No. Please. There we go. Start, baby. I could maybe scrap this car a little bit. If it's got any parts that I can actually scrap. I think it's empty. It's pretty empty. How's the fuel? I think the fuel is still pretty solid, actually. Surprisingly. Ooh. Could stop by this car. Oh, don't go anywhere, car. I know you, I didn't put you in. Yep, yeah. okay, great. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Let me in. Let me in. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Let me in! Oh my god. Ow. Are you annoying me now? Oh my god. The door fell off. What the? What are you doing? Stop moving. Stop. 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 Oh my god. Really should. Ni okay, we're driving now. Wow. Oh god, now I've got no door. That was a terrible, terrible mistake. That you should never ever do. Right. Okay. Important. Always put it in park. Always. Lesson learned. I still got my door. <laughs> still holding it somehow. But you definitely park now. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. What's that? These are. Can I take these parts off? Is there steel? Uh, I don't think so. No, no. I don't think so anyway. A little bit of fuel in there. I think I'll leave that for now. Scrap, scrap, scraps. Yeah, always put your car. Always into park. <laughs> Lesson learned from Scott. Unreal. Always. Don't be lazy. Just do it. Don't be an idiot like me. I hope that's what the, the lessons you've learned in this video. If you're going to play the game. Park is very important. I think we took... I think we took a bit of front end damage there. I'm hoping it's just the, the bonnet cover. But I don't honestly know. No idea. <laughs> Careful here, because this thing just grabs me. The last one grabbed me with a ginormous magnet and just took me away. I think I managed to get caught on the... Uh, what's that? Oh! Wow. Did not know I had that. I guess you can change the channel. If you want it. Mm -hmm. Go, go, go! Another building on the left here. We'll probably not. Oh, we've got that ramp, have we? I think we're okay. This place is dangerous. Do I want to go in this building? I will avoid this. I quite like the connection though, obviously being a car guy myself. The connection you have in this game between the car and yourself is poignant. Very important. I don't even know if this is even going to work by the way. This gateway. Um, I sure hope it does. I hope it's not like, you need some power. It may, it may do. <laughs> Hope not. Let's see if it works. Please! Yes! Come on! Get in! Perfect. I'm hoping we can now travel to here. Yes! Yes! We did it! We survived it! Um, apart from me not putting the handbrake on or the park. We're good. It wasn't really a handbrake, was it? It was just a brake. The car does love to just roll. I guess it's not balanced in any way, so... Um, yeah. God, Sierra. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Head to town. Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You... can't miss it. Ugh, we're stuck until we verify Tobias's remnant theory, so get to Sierra. Oh, thank you for that. 
Uh, is there a reason you're driving straight towards the largest honking anomaly in the zone? You wanted to uh, know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. Well, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so I guess in, in this area, we need to get the ob objective done and then escape again. That's why we're going to need the energy. Okay. Driver, are you sure about this? Well, Honestly, be fine. No. It's not fine. Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cap is still giving off after all these years. To achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but Oppie's got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're gonna take her side? This isn't about sides. It's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. The driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. For all I care, they can lay down and wait until the instability takes them. That would get them out of my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. Do I have any fuel here? Where's my fuel gone? I just had it equipped. I fueled up a little bit. I'm getting hit here, so when I go outside do become fairly vulnerable. Whew. This is terrifying. I don't like this one bit. So if I go outside, will I be attacked or will be okay here? I think we're okay here. Let's do some scrapping then. What we got? Not too much. Oh, I guess that's all we've got. Got a tiny bit of fuel in it. Not much though. Like it's barely even worth wasting my time. But it might be useful. Uh, right. Let's make sure we are sorted out here. Do, 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 do. Transfer. Don't need that. Time to fuel at the moment. Let's get going. What if I could craft? One sec. I don't think I can. Oh, one sec. So it count as a door? It must count as a door, right? Yep, it does count as a door. Trunk door. Yes! Oh, baby. Now we're looking good. Now we're looking good, good, good. I will heal actually as well. Because I have no idea what's coming up now. Oh, is that the setting underneath the underneath the health bar? That's like the radiation. If I go outside in certain areas, I will be attacked, and I will lose health. Screw you rocks. Oh boy, I'm trying to go past him quickly. Right, we're gonna head into town. I'm an idiot. Look at that. What are we doing here? What are we doing? We're an idiot. This is obviously not the best idea in the world. Get the car close to the you know, What? Why? Why would you want that for me? Why? You're just horrible. What are you giving me? Hair party and a first aid kit. <laughs> God. Why would you give me that for? <laughs> oh! A reusable flare. Okay. Let's 
Give that a go. How does it work? Yay! I got a torch. So I guess we had the flares that we could have used um, previously. So I do apologise when I was moaning earlier. I thought the flares were more of like you just throw them out. But um, I guess not. There's more to them. Yeah, this will definitely be useful. Quick look over there. One sec. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Please be nice. A random door? Do you want to take the door? Sure. Big dams. I feel like Big Dan's been there for a while, but... There's no space in there. But if we get rid of... Can I drop that? No? Seriously? I can't take the door? Yeah. That's kind of annoying. Sure, alright. Whatever. I'll leave it here then. Screw you. We are good to go. For right, some reason, I want to drive towards this. I really don't know why. It sounds like the most hideous, stupid idea ever. But here we are. I'll leave that car. This sounds like a horrific idea. What am I doing? Please don't shock me. Guys, wish me luck. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know why I'm doing this. Oh, Back to the future, that's the film I'm thinking of. Maybe you need to get closer <laughs> to Campus Corway up there. Uh, Can you find a way to higher ground? Okay, you need to go. We have to read this map now. Sure, I can try. So the map is infinitely blurry. Uh, I'd love to be able to see where I'm going right now. One sec, how do I actually get out there? Uh, way up there. I'm have to do a loop-de-loop. -loop. I really hope the car's okay. So I'm guessing if I got out of the car right now, I wouldn't feel so good. Let's put it bluntly. The parts are already suffering a little bit. Let's hurry this up a little bit. Struggling to find the right path. Is this the road? This is the road. I think this is where I want to be. I know you're a suffering car. I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm trying to look after you, I promise. Yeah, look at the front of my car now. That's just from the environment we're in. Well, I've got to where you wanted me to get to. Drive up to the bridge to get closer to the anomaly, okay? Mm, car's still not close enough to Cappy. What now? How about... Uh Launching the car into Cappy's core. What? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. What? It's simple. 
The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly. And if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. And if you don't? I've run some calculations. I think it should be fine. Anyway, it's like they always say. What's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Who says that exactly? In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, <laughs> if it's the only way... Yeah, you got this kit for it! Well, open the barricade from the control tower to access the bridge. Um, is that the control tower? Maybe? I'm pretty sure if we go outside though, we're going to get severely damaged. But, sure. This must be it, right? I don't know. This is a great idea. <laughs> oh, whoa, what was that? Where the hell did that come from? So I try and get this plasma while I'm here. Whoop. What are you doing? There we go. Oh, that took 10 hours to do, but sure. Alright, let's give this a go. <sighs> Wish me luck. Wish I had a bit more speed, but sure. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah! Oh, what are you doing? Why did you do that? Ah! Wow. Fantastic, you've ruined me, Kel. Damn it, you piece of crap. Come back on already. Can you hear me? 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 Can't be fried my transmission systems. Thought I lost you for a moment. Well, it all worked out, didn't it? The gateway got you out, and it looks like the ARC device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive. And my plan worked. Cappy amplified the car's signal, and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car, having sat dormant for this long, will give you a little more time. I'm sorry, I don't have better news for you. I'm still game to get you out of here. The faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. None of the routes you've mapped so far leads to a way out. Why don't you head back out and chart some more? You can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. Right, so that is the end of the preview for now. Um, end of part one as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm definitely, definitely intrigued. I'm uh, intrigued by the characters, by this world. There was a lot to take in at first. I found it a bit overwhelming, but once I sort of calmed down and sort of uh, understood it, Oh, yeah, I really like it. I really like it. I like the art style as well. Very interesting game indeed. Definitely. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon. And bye-bye.